Lent as a Love Story, The Very Reverend. Christopher House challenges Christians to think in those terms. It's about God calling us back to Him in spite of our sinfulness, in spite of the times we promise to be better and then we backslide, said House, the pastor of Christ the King Catholic Church in Springfield. Lent is about the fact that God doesn't give up on us, that has always reaching out to us in love. Lent is about us accepting His invitation. Lent is about us taking his hand and walking with him in right relationship. See also, world-class linguist, journalist was a popularizer of language to the general public for many Christians. The Lenten journey begins with Ash Wednesday leading up to Good Friday marked by Christ's crucifixion and high. The 40 days of Lent is reflective of the New Testament account of Jesus fasting for 40 days in the desert before beginning his public ministry. Last year, the COVID-19 pandemic changed the way many pastors distributed ashes. Trying to avoid skin-to-skin -skin contact, the Vatican directed priests to sprinkle ashes on the crowns of people's heads, a practice from the Middle Ages still done in some European countries. Local and area Episcopal churches followed suit or priests were encouraged to use a cotton swab to apply ashes. Others avoided distributing ashes altogether. While it isn't a holy day of obligation, Ash Wednesday, House said, is the third biggest day in the church behind Christmas and Easter. Priests will distribute ashes at two masses at Christ the King and a noontime liturgy of the Word. There is no directive from Rome this year, but House remains a fan of sprinkling ashes atop the head for scriptural reasons. Priests have discretion, he said, on how they want to distribute ashes. For the Christian practice of it, House said, I look to the Gospel of Matthew, which is always on Ash Wednesday, where it clearly says, when you fast, wash your face and comb your hair and do not appear to be fasting. Yet we. The person knows it's there and God knows it's there and that's exactly what the Gospel on Ash Wednesday talks about. Distributing ashes is fairly new for United Methodists, said Paul Black, the communications director for the UMC's Great Rivers Conference. A ritual was only prescribed in its 1992 Book of Discipline, he said. One of the key elements deals with preparing oneself through the idea of repentance, Black said. It's a time for reflecting on our own humanity, 